Hello, hello, and welcome, Capricorn. January 23rd, we are here. <laughs> Thursday. Welcome to Ascended Stars channel, and this is Ali Jade. I'm going to be doing your Capricorn reading for the week, and we'll see what is happening for my beautiful Capricorns. I uh, hope you had a good birthday and you're feeling really good because you had a lot of support. A lot of astrological support. This is my pre-shuffle spread to see what uh, messages peak in today. We're one day away from the uh, new moon. So what do we have at the bottom of the deck? Eight of Pentacles, working hard. Yes, I am feeling my Capricornian energy big time. And thank you. <laughs> it gives me, you know, with Mars and Sagittarius, it gives me the drive, the passion, the ambition and the foresight so eight of pentacles is loving what you do darlings loving the work that you do or in earth terms i could say having that balance in life where work personal life um activities you know gym time health everything is coming balanced that's what i feel for you all right, so let's see here. I like it. You know, oh my god. Okay, so we had the extra one for the end. Um, I guess towards the end of the week, or just a vibration that's happening. But this is really good. Okay, so overall energy, Four of Pentacles, and and this Four of Pentacles. This guy's pretty much holding on for dear life. You know. I don't know like doing a balancing act yeah doing a balancing act so it could be like a little bit of juggles juggling energy here and just to keep it down just to keep the foundational energy down you know just to keep the home front um i find myself going back home like doing more home runs and then but not staying as frequently like just tag and then do what i gotta do and then leave so it could be a lot of rotation around the house a lot of activities around the house too stuff happening around the house interesting because you're an earth element and you should be the king of pentacles but i have two significant kings here for the energy of capricorn so for my ladies you could have a king of wands a sagittarius a leo or aries quite significant this tends to be an entrepreneur energy though so i do feel like this could be you just with the mars and sagittarius energy just taking charge and doing the things that you want to do very much manifesting energy now maybe you're really contemplating the legalities of these uh business and career moves tax season so yeah, all the tax papers are in the U.S. are coming over here. So this could be important information, and then you're taking care of business in that way. Which you're taking care of business. We're only we're not even in March yet, you know. So I do feel like you're really ahead of the game. I feel like, but also you're being kind of a jerk, you know, like a, a or you know the woman version of a jerk. I don't even I don't want to say the word, but you're being standoffish. Okay, if it don't if it don't benefit you, honey, it don't benefit you, and you're not really getting involved or you know uh tit tattling with that you know like uh anything it's not really <laughs> i'm also getting if it ain't tintillating to your to your mind like if it ain't really like like very mentally stimulating okay i feel like you are not really going to be involved like things you're hungry for knowledge too i'm picking up like you are hungry for knowledge you're doing research you're really um backing it up with facts is what i'm picking up with this energy okay so we have a beautiful energy behind a not so beautiful energy you might be taking on too much there might be a heavy load or it just might feel like a heavy burden why because your finances are not where they want to be they're not exactly um you know when you're making moves like making money moves you can't make them without money so your money might be tied up in other things that you need right now prioritizing because it's about this foundational energy you're taking care of the home front everything you know everything that has to do with the home just keeping that going and then maybe business might have to take a second a you know a second uh how do you say it a second seat a back seat 
a backseat. That's what I wanted to say, a backseat. Okay, so look, you have a really burdensome energy. Some, you know, just like towards the end of the week, it's like, whoa, like you can't even. What's interesting about this um, Ten of Wands energy is that he can't see. He can't see. So something's coming at you that you can't see. And guess what it is? Something really emotionally contentful. It could be a reunion. It could be a... Um, I feel... I feel it's a reunion. I feel like this is on the collective level as well. I, I feel this is the energy. Like the next three, four days. Like tomorrow's the new moon in Aquarius. And then usually the energies last for three days. Because, you know, after, after the... The moon transits for me typically so this is like i feel like this is the energy that the um new moon in aquarius is going to bring in with venus and pisces like to think about how the the possibilities of this universe can really take off and be really in tune with that and and knowing that you know we can connect now through cyberspace with those that are of like mind like before this wasn't possible i was just having a conversation with the young person i said you know when we didn't have google like i i, I would have to like hear say and, and hope and pray that that was correct it's you know it's, it was different and yet still we feel very separated but we're not we're not really like so there's this like connection in the ethers that i feel that's coming and, and 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 Capricorn has brought it in you were grounding it right this and I'm talking energetics I'm talking per personally but let's you know take it how it resonates with you my dears all right so let's go ahead and look at your week look at the week that we have coming for Capricorn and what we can kind of expect what we can kind of have foresight what they need to know what messages need to come through for them to uh, personally touch them and well, take them to the next level where we all want to go. Because Capricorn is leveling up. Okay. All right. So let's do this. So I hope it's been a good week. Uh, we just ended all this the eclipse portal, which was. You know, I don't know wobbly energy like you really have a don't have that short footed footed energy but that's what you like you guys like to have confidence but you know what I'm sure you're getting you guys are doing well I'm really 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 uh, let me I'm gonna pick another extra one here for, for you guys I don't know me guided to do that and the astrological one oh wow oh my god that's why we had the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. This one popped out so fast I wanted to talk to you guys. Okay, let's see. What do we have? Action. All tied up. Wow, those are very different. <laughs> Attachment. Uh-oh. Hostilities. Blossoming abundance. Envy. Ooh la la. You guys have like a dramatic soap opera going on over here. <laughs> Environment. So let's see. Compassion. Yep. Happy ending. Yep. I, we saw that the Ten of Cups. Pride. Ooh la 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 la. Follow your dreams. Okay. And the extra that I saw. Oh no, my friends, the wounded human ego. Okay, let's do some, um, um, I'm going to do some tarot and see what we're going to see see what we're gonna see <laughs> all right so this could have to do with an attachment and I always say know thyself when it comes to the Capricornian devil card energy and because when you know yourself but see that's the whole journey you know you're on the we're on the journey and Capricorn's on it right now you guys are on it like if 
when you know yourself it's only after the fact like oh now I know I'm capable of doing that or now I know that's a trigger now I know I got wounded and I was living my life blind to this wound trying to protect it trying to shield it trying to hide it trying to push it down not trying to acknowledge it not even dealing with it and the way I dealt with it was not talk about it or drink or whatever vice you might have so this is this is this is this <laughs> that's that's definitely that okay so you're gonna feel your emotions for some of you are gonna feel quite stuck you won't know how to um, express this emotion you know it's gonna come up I think it's like going to come up like it doesn't you can't deny it it's gonna be obvious to you okay because we have anger and hostilities here so this something could make you quite angry and quite uh, upset there is there's something in your environment that happens okay someone has taken action here towards you around you in your personal environment in your home in your neighborhood in your family environment uh, so it's not that this gets you all tied up is also like a sense of fear because when we're afraid um, we have that freeze mentality like a deer with headlights um, so something could get you quite by surprise let's go ahead and take a look at that from the Capricorns and see what happens here okay Cappies I almost made the biggest mistake and all right be careful you guys you know being upset might might cause you to injure yourself or be reactive or you know it might abruptly cause you to yeah what did I say injure yourself hurt yourself in that reaction mode or just you're just because you're distracted by what's going on or what hits you kind of by surprise or just the emotional thing that you have to deal with that might be just too much to deal with you know you're kind of not that your phys your presence is is physically there but not your mind is somewhere else so all tied up all tied up comes with the nine of wands as a clarifier so this is a huge burden here but it's coming to an end and you needed to face it you, you know you need to face it but look at this when then we have eight of cups and the devil card it's something you need to walk away something very unhealthy someone a relationship that's very unhealthy because you've gained clarity on it the hermit energy you're wiser now you're older wiser and uh, more distance has come to like there's been distance here that you've because you, you only can have distance you also now because of the polarity of Virgo we have compassion which is a water element of Pisces or cancer and um, a lot of cancer and energy so this could have to do with your mother it could have to do with you know uh, nurturing or lack of but we have happy ending here we have a happy ending uh, regarding this attachment and this situation you know and your wounded part of yourself either someone's coming at you with hostility or you have some hostility towards someone uh, let's see here let's take a look oh yeah this is like a lover this is like a romantic situation going on okay so this is like a choice that no stop your their partner this romantic person uh, that you're involved in uh, your significant other is not going to like and they're going to be very reactive and maybe this is why you haven't made this choice uh, regardless you're not interested anymore in, in involvement your cups not getting full you're, you've come to like some kind of clarity here some kind of uh, deeper knowing deeper calling this is going to be sudden like around your environment something's gonna happen so this person might be hostile you know they might come and do something that uh, is retaliation maybe 
this might be the perfect opportunity for you to really have them come out and see and have people see like you know what a cycle you're dealing with or what a what a toxic um environment it is for someone else this might free you okay because sudden insight sudden epiphanies sudden choice that you make this is your neighborhood the third house as well so some be really vigilant about your your neighborhood and what's happening around there um a crime or whatever or somebody spying on you they could be spying on you around you they could be they, they could be stalking your house they could be looking around okay stalking your house checking you out the, because their pride is bruised here their pride there's somebody's pride got bruised okay now we have the nine of cups there could be drinking involved uh over drinking so it it's going to be okay though you have blossoming abundance and follow your dreams so you're free, freeing yourself and you're meeting resistance to freeing yourself from family friends or a very close karmic tight uh situation relationship this person i just feel like this your person does not want you to go you know because you're gonna go and you're you're gonna be feeling a lot better because you're pursuing something that's more for you aquarius is about you know pursuing your 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 dream the star energy you you've decided you know this is not probably working out you're not into it anymore your cup doesn't get full anymore from this situation and someone within your neighborhood see an environment and and the the lover's card it's gemini this person could be gemini it could be happening um coming up it could be happening coming up too this could be something that you if you don't take action now it's going to get worse if you don't take action now and make this choice this is like way here back okay it's like overshadowing a little bit so if you don't take action this could really um bite you in the end almost like because envy's here it could stop well for sure okay blossoming abundance and envy came out like this so when you get this abundant energy or, or I mean this abundance um, or success or something happens positive, something's going to happen here positive, some good news is going to probably come come down the pipeline after a lot of drama, a lot of, or somebody just, so, okay, after a lot of drama, something might pop up, okay, something might pop up that's good and somebody's going to envy it. We're going to use this ability. Someone's going to envy it and uh, be envious of you, not envy it, envy, envious of your situation, of you. Uh, this is the lower vibrational. So, you know, people sometimes they pretend they're happy, you're lovers, but they're not. They're like really in com competition. I think I mentioned this in one of my readings the other day. It was weird. I was like, isn't, isn't your partner supposed to be like cheering for you? Yeah, but that a lot of the time when we're younger, we don't realize this. Okay, so there's, so you're, this end, okay, so this envy here is something that is a lack of compassion okay you're coming to see the lack of compassion that's around you um so you're healing this you're making room to heal it it might take you on an emotional journey but somebody might drop a bomb somebody might say something very that strikes you very wrong okay right now in aquarius season people are very opinionated and they might there's something that you don't like about this person that doesn't like you're like wow that's a deal breaker all right so let's see here pisces is the card for your astrology Okay, let me finish that sentence about Aquarius. Aquarius energy um, with Mars and Sagittarius and Mars representing quick, abrupt action, initiation, hostility. Okay, Aries does, I mean, Mars does uh, deal with hostility, anger. Okay, so this is coming up for a lot of this week. Things might be said up in the air and things might be and they might get out of control okay it might be when people are drinking and enjoying life or whatever wherever it is it could happen within the family it could happen you know at a family environment somewhere familiar to you okay and you're realizing that you need to take action because something is a lack of compassion here so you're like wow you know 
but this is part of your wound too like this is part of who you like what you what starts igniting within you and what you feel you need to defend or protect or judge um is part of your journey here of healing okay so someone's gonna rub you the wrong way and and something might spark anger And, and and a decision to walk away from something that you haven't been able to with it's gonna like I feel like it's gonna be clear like it's gonna be very clear like you're gonna it's gonna be like words that come out and you're gonna be like whoa whoa and then and, and I feel like because it's gonna be so quick like your realization your epiphany it just the veil is lifted and you see the truth and you make this decision and you're like no more i don't want this anymore this this is not fill my cup no more and it leads you to a better place all of a sudden you're like you're like free you feel the chains have been broken you're not you're you don't you're, you're you've been carrying maybe somebody else's hostility and somebody else's stuff and then abundance starts more more abundance the vibrations shifts you're in a happy place and things start happening why because you're really deciding to follow your heart follow the place of who you are this is emotionally motivated because of pisces okay and venus but this movement causes a value within yourself to value yourself and 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 then the universe reflects that to you your outside environment reflects that to you okay you become empowered the horses doing something in judgment here of really what's right and wrong for you on a moral level spirituality christianity buddhism higher principles higher calling higher self so this energy is wistful endlessly loving compassionate and forgiving it confirms fuses and softens resolve so in a state of confusion a state of illusion that you were in previously you're gonna see some ugly energy that really shifts it for you and makes it's that final mm, you may you know you, you it's like almost like that that nail on the coffin like maybe you've been waiting to see and then you see this nasty attitude or this at this thing that comes out this you know the dragon's head or the snake out of the basket and boom that that sets it for you so interesting energy for your week i hope you have enjoyed this reading i have very much enjoyed it what you need to let go we're going to do some surrender cards we're not going to leave you like this because i have archangel guidance or um oracle crystal uh, what is it called wisdom of the oracle since we had the higher font i'll have to do wisdom of the oracle three things what you need to surrender this week let's see what they are capricorn surrender to miracles this is why we have pisces here okay oh that's never gonna happen oh that's not for me ali no that's not me well yeah i know how, how you are capricorn it says be open to your miracles occurring in your life feel and know that these events are real let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen wow i always talk about this you know too pisces is about miracles you know christ came on earth made did a lot of miracles and it's 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 the piscean error that's what happened okay so let's see surrender to negative thinking now look at the color we have a theme we have this mauve i actually saw this exact color earlier this morning when i had to do a pickup and um I'm gonna have to look into this color but I've always this has been my favorite color since I was been 12 years old I used to wear this color a lot on the islands in Hawaii I had my little skirt that was like a tennis skirt and then a shirt and my loafers this you know the loafers were beige but the the outfit was this color it says surrender to negative thinking you have control over your thoughts when negative thoughts surface say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations so you're raising your vibration already on a unconscious level seeking spirituality grounding it living by it embodying it 
you know, because you do represent like living a more right or wrong life, you know. Oh, look at the beige. I mentioned the beige shoes. Okay, so this is about being really soft for on yourself because if I'm picking up Hawaiian energy, the islands, y'all being kind of hard on yourself, you know. So it's about softening, softening it up. Um, I do feel like what's coming through for you Capricorn is some self pampering so you might want to like go for a, a massage that would be physical touch because of the senses right or uh, a shave or a haircut a facial um, something that's gonna pamper you it's gonna make you feel better okay I do feel like uh, because y y you're you're, you're, the messages can't come in if you're going to be in a state of stress. <laughs> so it says, make a commitment not to lead an anxiety-driven life. When worries arrive, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. Interesting. I did not plan for that to happen. I'm going to give you some archangel guidance. Um Oh, I did say I was going to do Wisdom Oracle. Let's do a Wisdom of Oracle and we'll do one Archangel Guidance here. Two Archangel Guidance for my Capricorns. It's going to be an emotional week, I guess. Like, you're going to follow your dreams and things are going to come into place. But there is some, like, drama. It looks like drama is happening, but it's, like, out behind behind the scenes. Ha oh, did I show you both? Did I even show you Happy Ending? Look, you got Happy Ending. This is in the middle of the week revelations may come to you. So your middle of the week comes Sunday. Wow. So Sunday might be a really good day for you guys. You're going to be feeling really good. And look what you have. Happy ending. Okay. So a lot of drama for Capricorn it looks like this week. But I guess the universe is saying it's going to be worth it because you're going to have a happy ending and you're going to end up being happy, happy. And this person or whoever um, is around you is quite envious, you know, or maybe your partner's like seeing a new side of you and they're like, how did they get, how does Capricorn get there? Like I, maybe it's an, an envious of like ambitious, like I want to be like that, you know, I want to be like Mike. All right, let's see. Joy and contentment, a sense of fulfillment, a feeling that all is well, Capricorn. Your desires are effortlessly fulfilled now. Find joy in the present moment, whatever's happening, and be satisfied with things as they are. You're free from the shackles of longing and able to experience the liberation, Aquarius, that comes from actually being happy moment to moment for you have chosen happiness over yearning for it now is the time for feeling joy for the sake of joy and experiencing contentment none of this is because something outside of yourself your happiness is a result of your being at one with spirit's plan for your life all is well the tide has hot and i'm moving on <laughs> I'm sorry. I just okay. It says the tide is on. The tide is in for now. Enjoy playful splashing in it. Wow. I love me my, my blondie. I love me my blondie. And I people don't think this, but I feel it. That she's the original rap, first rapper. Okay, because I'm that old. All right. So listen. Here is your angel guidance. Wow. 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 Does it get any better, Capricorn? Prosperity. Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. So you are in a stealth place. Like you are solid. You're solid. Solid. Solid as a rock. Yeah. So you are solid right now and you're manifesting from the solidity and you're taking off. Your wings are spreading. Nice. Now you have life review. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. So for this is like half and half, okay? Half of you are like prospering and like, whoop, boom, I'm going to make it and I'm almost there and everything's good. Those people are going to have envious people around them. Now, there's others that are like, whoa, like how did I get here? Like what's going on? Why am I not on my path? So you're going to shift it, okay? You're going to drop 
drop whatever needs to be dropped drop the backpack drop the rocks in the in in the in the the rocks you've been carrying and the bad thoughts and all the negativity you're gonna you're gonna switch it up okay something's gonna happen epiphanies you are going to switch it up and destiny's gonna get you on your path don't beat yourself up because you got miracles just think you know think about miracles think that it's possible because you're where the mind goes the body will follow this will that will be on my tombstone i bet but that is what i know and and so that's what's happening and just you know let the emotions go here too don't be holding on to emotions if you're pushing them down it's a bad time bad season because you're supposed to funnel through these emotions you're supposed to sift through these emotions right now too so that's a big other message awesome thank you capricorn have a wonderful week and i look forward to connecting soon all my info's down below much love and light and i'm so happy for you bye, -bye.